There's a lot of these Lucas switches in the world. Uh, there are a lot of differences. For one, this one has a very big handle. These handles can be pried off gently. A lot of times they'll break, um, but you can pry the handles off if you need to, um, and you can restore the handles, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, the first thing you wanna do, obviously, is test the switch. Uh, this one tested good, and uh, we'll give you a link to a video on how to test switches, that we've done that before too. So why not just buy a new switch? Uh, first, they're not always available. Again, there's different kinds of switches. This one is made to go back and forth, and then there's a center position, which is doing nothing. Some of them are just motion or moment switches, which just means as you put it on, like a horn, it will, it will blow. Uh, there's a lots of different uh, tabs to do different things. So you need to have the right switch. Again, there's different styles to do different types of jobs. So let's get started on this one. So um, I've started cleaning this. It's getting a little better. Mostly the chrome on these old switches will clean up. And honestly, I just use a little brass brush. You can also use steel wool. Not all of this shows, but you know, if you're restoring something, you want to do a nice job. It's really important that you clean up your contacts. Again, either a little brass brush or some extra fine steel wool. I use uh, four aught steel wool. Yeah, it's all for naught if you don't get your contacts cleaned. All right, from there, that leaves us with the handle. If there's big chunks, this, this one's pretty good. It's, it's a little weathered, but if there's big chunks of it, you might think, oh, I gotta throw it away, but that's actually not the case. You can bring, you, you buy some Epoxo 88 or similar epoxy, it's a two-part epoxy. Mix it up, put it on there, let that dry for 45 minutes or an hour. And then you can basically shape it, shape it with a file and get this to come back. This one is not bad enough that I need to do that. So I'm just gonna kind of clean it up. It's, it's a little rough. I'll clean it up. I might, I might make the switch a smidge smaller by doing this, but nobody's out there with a micrometer at the local Cars and Coffee to see if you've altered the shape of your switch. These are uh, a kind of a black or, or bronze plastic usually. Um, I think they were all black originally and then they faded to other colors. So you wanna basically contour and make sure you keep the original shape, even if it's slightly smaller. From there, we'll use a little prep ball, get our fingerprints and such off of it and inspect it and make sure we're happy with the way it looks. We'll get a little masking tape on this thing. The actual post for the switch was also black, so it's not a problem to get a little black on there again, though it's not bad. So these were not usually glossy to begin with, uh, I like this chassis black. I use it on a lot of stuff. It's a good durable paint. Um, you know, these switches are gonna have your hands on them, but these are not your daily drivers for the most part. So I haven't had this paint come off in years of use. So, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years and kept the cars and never had a problem. So, as you can see, it's not very hard to restore one of these old switches if you can't find one or you're at a swap meet and you see one that's a little beat up, it's pretty easy to restore them. Thanks for watching. Our Bug Eye series is a regular feature in both the print magazine, Classic Motorsports, as well as on our website, classicmotorsports.com. And please like and subscribe to our channel. If you like this video and wanna see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And to see more stories like this, visit us online at classicmotorsports.com.